So, Premier, I wanted to just uh, introduce this uh, concept because um, I think, um, you know, the UCP is not um, Arthur's enemy, it's the NDP. Um, but he does have a problem that he thinks you may be able to help out with. So, Arthur, take it away. Once the process is underway, I can ask our prosecutors, is there a reasonable likelihood of conviction? And is it in the public interest? And I assure you, I have asked them that almost weekly, ever since I got started here. There have been a number of cases that have been abandoned at the last minute as they've gone through that assessment. And I'm very hopeful that that will be the case for more cases, but there isn't really a mechanism for me to order them to drop cases. It's complicated that way. It's just the way our legal system works, I'm afraid, is that once the ball is rolling, these Crown prosecutors seem to be very independent and we can only ask the two questions, as I mentioned, of you. So I, I doubt very much that this is being driven by the minister. But I have also raised it with the deputy minister and let him know my dissatisfaction with the tactics. So um, can you just leave this with me? And I will make that request one more time. Um, brought my, my principal policy advisor, Rob Anderson, who's been doing most of my work with justice and pushing this along. Has, uh, he's not back from vacation until Monday. But if I can just maybe make that inquiry one more time, but I, I'll need it, I'll need until next week to be able to do that. Okay. I'll be um, right. looking forward to to what you have, uh, what you are able to find out. Yes, I'm very sympathetic. I think this is... It's very frustrating to me that we here we find ourselves. Everybody in, has moved on from from COVID, and we're dealing with a bunch of charges. And this is the thing I find very frustrating is that they were a pol is it a political decision that initiated this, but it can't be a political decision to end it. That's what I'm finding very frustrating about the whole thing.